Hello. Have I turned the mic up this time? <laughs> Helen, don't knock the ads. They pay the bills around here. <laughs> Hope you're well. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late as usual. I need to maybe schedule the stream for 20 past nine. That might work better. Um, yeah, who who did you get for your ad? I see that um, Phil got um, eye stock. I got Franklin Hatchet. I know that a lot of you are a big big fan of Franklin. I didn't watch the whole ad, but it looked quite interesting. He was making twelve thousand, twelve thousand dollars a month. He was. Check him out anyway. I don't know what he's running ads, selling something. I guess a training course, whatever. But you know, I don't sell any training courses anyway. I'm I'm rambling. Let's do the hellos. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. You're in the only place in the world that doesn't have daylight savings. 7.15 a.m. there. I'm guessing you're in Australia or somewhere, aren't you? Remind me. Anyway, let's, let's start at the beginning and say some hellos. This light is a little bright on my face. Let me just move that. So, hello. In fact, I don't know if my chat goes right back to the uh, beginning, because I know some of you were in really early, weren't you? Yeah, R7 was in, I don't know what time he was in, way early. Sorry, the, the Watson chat over here I'm looking at. And Anthony, you were both here really early, but and Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Anthony. But I'm just gonna have a look at the chat that I've got here, which goes back to 8.45. Probably be the best place to start. So hello to Jeremy, Helen, of course, Dana, and Michelle, and F5011, 5011. Good name. Hello, Mark. Hello, Philip, and hello, Ed S. Clashing with The Apprentice. Well, yeah, The Apprentice, huh? I'm not sure if that is a legitimate business program. <laughs> Go and enjoy The Apprentice if you want to. I used to watch that. Back in the day, I used to watch The Apprentice, but now, no. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about The Apprentice anymore. Write my essay. Good to see you. Hello, review site. And Anthony, it's an interesting thought that in ten years' time I'm just going to be a projection or a hologram, something in your in your room. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows where we'll be in ten years' time? Hello, Scott. Hello, Dino. Quarter past two in the morning in LA. Good to see you. Love to come and see you in LA. I love LA. Not that I've been there much. I've only been there once, but I like it. I uh, had Brian. Phil, of course, good to see you. Thank you very much for your help the last couple of days with that client. By the way, their renewal is up tomorrow for hosting and support, so we'll see how that goes. I have increased it. Um, Brian, I think I've already said hello to you. I forget who I say hello to. Ahmed, good to see you. Anyway, let's crack on, otherwise I'm gonna be saying hello all night. Hello, Leslie, good to have you as usual. And Josh as well, and John. John, we're gonna be doing your site, I think. I'm looking a little blurry on my screen. Am I blurry on your screen? It's like a bandwidth thing. Tom, you signed up with BK Content. I hope it works out for you. Uh, I, I am wary of who I recommend. Now, I still recommend Texton as well. I still think they're good value for money. BKA are a little bit more expensive. Um, so I'm gonna be ordering from both, I think. My content service is no more, man. That was a nightmare. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Anthony knows what I'm talking about. Um, but anyone who did order and didn't get what they delivered, hopefully you have received your refund from me. If you haven't, then do obviously let me know. But I think you all got your money back. Stephanie's in and out tonight. You're busy. And Tom, I hope you did... Um, yeah, Tom, I hope you did use my my coupon code at um, BK. Adobe Eagle, any updates on the HOTS? Do you mean the HOTS or the HOTS? Texton. Texton is my other one that I recommend. If you look at the video I did a little while ago on uh, content providers, Texton is my favorite. 
Dino, yeah, I do try and help. You do email me quite a lot, I know that, but I, I do try and obviously reply to as many emails as I possibly can. Anthony, yes, I did get my money back. I do love PayPal. <laughs> you know, PayPal is, is actually a really great service. When you buy stuff with PayPal, if it doesn't work out, generally, you can get your money back. PayPal will, will help you with that. And in that case, yes, they did, and it was like a thousand pounds. So yeah, well played. PayPal, very happy with that. Okay, yeah, write my essay. So the Hoff, the backlink thing, the video on that should be up tomorrow on exactly the Hoff. So I did pay $500 for one of those links and I'm gonna give you all the details on that video tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I did buy yeah, $500. The video on that is coming out tomorrow. All I'll say, is I'm not getting a lot of traffic from that link. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll give you guys, because you guys are part of the club, I'll give you guys a bit of a preview on tomorrow's video. But to do that, I'm gonna have to switch onto here. Carl's on holiday, well he deserves it. He deserves a holiday. So let's do a little um, transition. Hey, my front. All my WP Eagle t-shirts are in the wash. Um, and in fact, I've got some new ones coming, so hopefully next week I'll have some new WP Eagle t-shirt to wear. But yeah, let me let me talk about that. Let me I'll give you a full update on Best Roof Box if you like. Let's do that. Um, but let, yeah, we can talk about those um, the Hoff stuff. Bear with me, bear with me. Just need to get my notes up, which is not loading. And then we we'll, tonight we're also going to be doing Q and A. So obviously, just keep your questions coming in the chat. I'll try and answer as many as I possibly can. And I've got how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five sites to review. So that's going to keep us busy for the for the stream. I think. Philip, the Hoff is not a PBN service, is it? I don't think it is. Not maybe if you buy the basic links, possibly, which I'm going to talk about in my video as well. But if you go for the guest post, that that's legitimate sites. Is it not? Have you got any evidence on that, Philip? Because I'm quite scared now. <laughs> Pete, um, I don't really want to name any names. I've I've done that before. Um, Anthony knows who they are. But um, just order tech, order content from either Texton or BKA content and you'll be fine. Don't have any anything about money robot. Okay, let me, let me talk about the half quickly. So the video is gonna be here tomorrow. So. This is what I bought from the Hof so far. I've bought, I bought three guest posts um, for a thousand what, of a thousand words. I bought another three guest posts of a thousand words on a demo, DA10 sites, and then I also bought one guest post of five hundred words on a DA10 site. <clears throat> then I purchased a five hundred dollar link on a DA55 site, which is supposed to be having like tons of traffic, and I've had all that. Let me just show you some of the links that I've got. I'm going to share my screen in a second. Let me just bring it up. Oh, Anthony, you can say the name if you want. <laughs> you can say it. I'm not saying it. To be honest, I should have. I should have known. I should have known. If you look back, some of my old videos, you probably had to figure out where that went wrong. The content stuff. But I'm not. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, do you think people will click on those links? No, I don't think they do well, uh, Sahil, I don't. Let me show you some of the links. So this is the Guest Post Pro, the 50K link on a site that gets 50,000 estimated monthly views. This is what I got. This was five tech sharks. Okay, he said it. Um, this is the 500 pound, $500 link. Let me just um, share my screen. Where's my controls gone? 
the thing is, Anthony, I don't know the guy. I think he think he feels legit, but then you think he's just a scam, a scam, because it kind of started well, and then it just. I don't know if it's just the pressure that gets to him, and then he. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's not talk about it. We can talk about it in private sometime. Maybe talk about it in the um, Facebook group or whatever. I'm not talking about it. Here we go. So this is the site. This is the five hundred dollar link. This site is a DA55 or DR55, so it's a very high ranking site. It gets allegedly 50,000 uh, visits a month. I mean, I've, I've run it through Ahrefs and yeah, that does seem to check out. And they created this article about stuff to keep in your car. Then uh, towards the end here, if you've got the space, if you don't have space for it in your trunk, look for the best roof cargo box. And uh, that links through to my site. Whether it's worth 500, probably not. But as part of this best roof box adventure, I wanna order stuff so that you don't have to, so that I can test it out and just tell you about it so you, you can avoid it or, or go for it if it's good. And so this site, uh, this link's been up for maybe two weeks and I've looked at my analytics and it's sent over like two or three visits. So yeah, there's that, that is that. And yeah, I'm gonna put all this in a video tomorrow. This is the expensive link. The other ones, which were a lot cheaper, I think I can pop this up. I don't think there's anything too sensitive in here. These are my orders. Um, like these ones, the DA10 guest post, thousand word um, thing. I quite like these. But Philip is telling me that, that these are all like PBN sites or whatever. But that, they look like legitimate sites. So that, again, they've created a fantastic average <laughs> um, post for this site, the hunting site, and then there's my link there. Now, I think these are quite good value for money. Now, in terms of the effect that it's had on my site, for this, I'm just gonna need to quickly um, put my, my face up, because I don't wanna show a client's site. Um, but yeah, so my domain rating has gone up, but my backlink's gone up. Let me just show you, my organic keywords are flying now. I'm just gonna quickly... If we look at Ahrefs, like I'm now ranking for 479 keywords on Google US. Organic traffic is steady and it, you know, it's obvious that the the roof box business is seasonal. So I'm pleased with that. Lots of things moving in the right direction, lots of green. So I think the link building is having a very positive effect. It's very, very hard to judge and it's very hard to judge when you're in a seasonal business. Scott says, Alex, are you keeping a tab on best roof box? I am. I've got a spreadsheet and everything. Logging all my, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> yeah, no, Philip, I'm not I'm not saying that you're hating. I just never realized that the Hoff was PBN and I can't imagine. I'm gonna show you a couple of links that they did do for me, which could be dodgy. But um, these guest post ones, they look legit. And they sell it as white hat, so. And I know that the Hoff, their background is it's certainly in black hat SEO and that kind of stuff, but I thought they'd gone clean. But yeah, in terms of my costs, it's running at about $3,000 so far on Best Roof Box. Buying links for $500 obviously bumps that up pretty quickly. In terms of the revenue, the revenue is around 500, so overall spend is about 3,000. But again, I've got another video coming on this, but my overall goal for Best Roof Box, and you know, looking at Project 24, the reason why it's called Project 24 is because you need to give 24 months time for these sites to come to fruition. I'm gonna give Best Roof Box plenty of time. I'm gonna slow down the spend on it now and the, the content on it, because I think it's got to a point, it's got over 50 articles now. And my end game with it is to sell it, you know, for a good, good five figure amount. So with that and some ongoing residual money on the way, I'm hoping that it's gonna become profitable. 
of course, I didn't need to spend that kind of money. As I said, a lot of it I spend because I want to make videos about it and show you guys. Ahmed, um, it's too late for adding any site reviews. Just email me and I'll add it to the list for next week. And bear in mind, I didn't write any of my own content for Best Read Books. It's all outsourced. Phil, I'm not strictly buying links. On those ones that I ordered, I'm buying a guest post. <laughs> so I'm buying a piece of content that may include a link. Um, yeah, I, I understand, I do understand. Anything that you're doing to try and manipulate Google is black hat at the end of the day. You shouldn't be encouraging links or anything, you know, even outreach in theory is black hat because you're manipulating things. You know, there should all just be people coming across your article and going, oh, I'm gonna to link to that because it's a really good article. That's the only white hat that you know. But of course, that's not in the real world gonna work. And he says, why not sell a site that's making tech around? Well, why not indeed, you could do it. But the reason why not for me is because I want a complete story. I do want to end the Best Roof Box playlist at some point, and I want to end it with me selling the site for tons of money. Um, but you're talking about the crappy links. Let me just go back. So I also ordered a couple of links for a Swim Signs. Swim Signs, which is not doing a lot just yet, but um, it's early days. I just wanted to like go for the Hoff's cheapest package, the foundations, which is only a couple of hundred dollars. I think it's not a lot. And they said they created seven web two links and then they created three authority site links. And look at these authority sites. They're like, I don't know what doodle kit is. I guess that's some platform you can create. They're just horrible. Look at this. This is the kind of links that definitely I do not want to be buying. So there is a big difference with what you get from the Hof. So that's why I, I don't think, uh, Phil, you need to kind of put them all into one bag. There's definitely a, a mix of quality. <laughs> Look at this one here. Uh, and what, what is this site? They've just like created this blog on this thing, whatever site one, two, three is, some horrible blogging platform and just created one post and linked it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe it wasn't a story day now. Yeah, I, I know $200 is a lot for a lot of people. I, I'm, that was a silly thing to say. Um, how much is this foundations? Sorry, sorry. 60 bucks, 60. Um, 60. Anthony, good to see you. Uh, welcome. We're just talking about um, BKA content, which if you look, check my last video, which we'll talk about in a minute, you'll find a coupon code. Just use the code WP Eagle and you'll get a discount. Or check out text un, which is text un. Uh, yeah, I know. I do understand, Anthony. It is, you know, keep the site going for years and years and earn loads of money. That's probably a lot, what a lot of people want to do, but then, yeah, I want to set it just to move on to something else, do, do another project. But maybe I'll change my mind. Hmm. Will you sell roof box on Flipper, Dean asked? Yeah, probably. And as Josh says, yeah, when you have got a site earning 10K, you can buy, you can sell it for 300 odd thousand. And that kind of lump sum is not to be sniffed at, man. I think how many other sites and things and projects you could create with that. Dino, Swim Signs. Swim Signs does run a little bit slow. But I think as I mentioned, in my, I mean, it's not that slow. It's getting some page views and stuff, by the way. Um, the reason why it is a bit slow is because it's WooCommerce and because it is WooZone. And they're quite hefty bits of software. You want to get a site running, um, you know, super fast with those plugins running, you need a dedicated server, VPS or something like that.
Now I know you had a question about these column things. Let me just quickly show you that, uh, Dino. And then we're gonna get onto some site reviews. Oh, and by the way, um, just on another, I will be doing an earnings update on um, Best Reef Books. Pleased to say that even though it is seasonal, last few days we've had quite a few orders and a number of those orders have been for roof boxes. So I'm confident that the downturn is over and that now we're coming out of October. People are now thinking, I know what to get the wife for Christmas. She needs a roof box. So yeah, uh, this is a quick question. This is a quick demonstration even just for Dino. He's looking to add more of these. What I would do, Dino, So what I'd do is come in here. Is it in, in, it, in here? Oh yeah, structure. Oh, you know I have four columns. Maybe not, if you can't. I'm pretty sure you could in a section. Um, okay. Can do add new column. There you go, like that. See that? It's like on the columns. I wasn't. It's not a section. It's the columns. But you could like just duplicate. Oh, then I've got even more. You can get rid of this one. I'm right clicking, by the way. You know, you could just duplicate these. Get as many columns in here as you like. That's that's too many, probably. Does that help, Dino? I think that's what you're looking to do. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting confused. Now it says poo. It's not great. So I'm not going to save that. Okay. Let's um, let's have a look at some some sites, shall we? Let's have a look at some sites. Uh, I've got too many notes open now. So, okay. I think we did, we done that one. That was last, <laughs> just finding, let's start with this one. Okay, this is interesting. This one comes in from someone who I didn't make a note of their name, unfortunately, but they're from Morocco and Casablanca. Casablanca in Morocco. Uh, and it's all about dogs. There's always dogs. Dogs is a very popular niche, isn't it? And first impression looks good. Looks nice and neat. This logo is not Retina, but hey, I'm not gonna not gonna pick it apart for that. And why does my puppy pee in the crate? Now looking at your English here, yeah, I can see that English is your third language. Yeah, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, I've only got one language myself, which is English. So to speak free language is fantastic. And to write your own content in a third language is very impressive. But as a native English speaker, you can tell, <laughs> which I don't know if it's a bad thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing. It may put some people off. So like what this bit here, one of the most common situations among inexperienced dog owners that are unfamiliar with crate training is when the puppy pee in the crate. Just the way that sentence is structured is not quite right. Is when the puppy pees in the crate would be the thing. And just some of the words there, I don't know, I'd probably, I wouldn't have written it like that, but that's just me nitpicking. 
I think the niche is good because you're, you're going very specific on the dogs and, and the crates rather than just having a general dog site. And these look like great questions that probably are coming up in Google. So it looks like you've done your research. You're using a lot of these semicolons, which I never use when I write, but maybe that's because I'm doing something wrong. I mean, you're answering a lot of questions. This is a big old article. I mean, you may want to consider that maybe some of these could be turned into their own articles. There's nothing I can really pull apart. Playpen training a puppy. Use the playpen right. Don't know if that maybe needs a little bit of rewording, a little bit of research. Got the old table of contents, which is great. Again, the wording here is a little bit weird. Playpen training, playpen training a puppy is not a very popular statement among dog owners. They mostly hear about crate training. Playpen is that should you don't need this statement. It should just be playpen training a puppy is not very popular among dog owners because they mostly hear about crate training. Helen says semicolons are good, so they are definitely good. I just probably don't use them when I should. What I would say is you probably need to just get in touch with someone like Helen, who is excellent with content, just to sometimes just scan over some of these articles and just give you a few pointers where you're structuring sentences and using words that maybe a native English speaker would not use. Helen, when should I use a semicolon? Please do share that bit of information, that would be good. And obviously, I. I should have said this from the beginning, but I know I'm reviewing these sites, but I do love, and I'm sure that the people who own these sites do love your guys' feedback as well in the chat. So chat, if you've got any comments about any of the sites we're looking at, do put them in chat, they are useful. I'm doing most of these on the fly. I, I very rarely look at them because I'm very bad at planning and getting organized. I very rarely look at them before the stream. So they're all done on the fly. And yeah, a few of you are saying that the screen is blurry. I don't know if that's my bandwidth or I don't know what's going on. Maybe just refresh um, the stream and you should be fine. Let me just see what YouTube is saying. It's saying the stream health is good. Whose site is this? It's a good question. This site is Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's I guess that's pronounced this guy. Yeah. yeah. Although he spells it differently on his email, but yeah. No, yeah, refresh. If you get in a blurry video, then just uh, refresh. So that's number one. I think this has got great potential. I'm always a little bit worried about the dog niche because like every other site that we see is in a dog niche, it's, it is saturated, I think, a little. Hello, Whisper Hub, good to have you on. And yeah, I did say the logo is a bit blurry. That's just because it's, are you looking on a retina screen? If it's on a retina screen, this is not a retina logo. So everything else looks nice and crisp and that looks a bit uh, blur blur blurry. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. This one's from Sean, who Sean is often around on the channel. He's a regular. He's in the Facebook group, I know that. This is Sean's website. Sean, what this picture looks like you're really fed up. I don't know if Sean's here. Are you here, Sean? If you are, make yourself known. 
Now, I do always say that the more specific the niche, the better, but gazebo weights, that is a very, very specific niche. I don't know if that's that's too specific. Can you be too specific? I don't know. I bet there's not a lot of other sites that do gazebo weights. I don't know, maybe. In terms of look and feel, it looks fine. Feels fine. <laughs> don't look fed up, yeah, it looks like, Sean, it looks like you're just bored of gazebo weights. I'm just thinking, I don't know how you're gonna come up with content for this. Or maybe you don't need to, maybe 10, 20 articles and the site's done. Leave it, just leave it, move on to the next one. Hmm, that might work. I mean, I guess these are all Google type questions. I'm just gonna to pop to Google and just, I need to Google this. How long do gazebo weights last? Hello, David. <laughs> Anthony, very good. I look, 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 look. I mean, I'm gonna turn on my keywords everywhere. I've still got all them credits. 97,000 credits left I haven't used. Might as well use some. I mean, look, you are killing the snippets here. And I know this is one of your sites as well, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, yeah. So I kind of get it, I get it. You're, you're going into the gazebo niche and linking between your sites, which is, is perfect. So, you know, have a specific site on the weights, have another one on the gazebos, drive traffic between the two. So, yeah, I think it could work and you looks like you are, I mean, I don't know if these are customized results for me. But yeah, you seem to be coming up quite well. Be interested to know how well the site's doing, Sean. I don't think Sean's here, which is a shame, otherwise he could, uh, could share some traffics. Traffics? Some traffic numbers. I think as a site, you probably don't need to do too much more to it. You know, add the occasional um, article, change this picture so you look happier about gazebos. And maybe it could work. Sean, get in touch with me, Sean, again, because I'd love to have a chat with you and maybe do a video or something if you are getting some traffic, because this is a really interesting way of, do, of approaching it by going into a niche and then going deeper into that niche and creating kind of mini sites around those really specific areas. I mean, it's a nice enough theme, whatever it is, it's nothing special. I don't know, it doesn't tell me what it is. But yeah, I think you're fine. My one bit of advice is change this picture. <laughs> Again, that's not important. And I find the navigation a little bit tricky, if I'm honest. You kind of got this main post on the on the home page, and oh yeah, by the way, the your visual composer things are broken there. Um, I'm wondering if it might be better just to kind of have this recent posts somewhere. I don't know. Hello, Redouan. Uh Phil says he changed the logo. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe just needs to say because he works. Phil thought it was about weightlifting at first. So interesting. 
someone asked about my Chrome extensions, which I'll quickly run through. The one everyone asked about is this one, which is the uh, WordPress theme detector and plugin detector, which generally works, not on every WordPress site, it's not working on any of Sean's, um, or indeed any of these sites, but yeah, it does sometimes work. <laughs> Um, this one is a buffer for buffering stuff to your social media. I've not really used that for a while. This one is Google Analytics URL Builder, which I don't really use. This one is Google Analytics. This one is the Facebook Pixel Helper, which is kind of, oh yeah, by the way, that's the content people, uh, which is kind of useful if you're running Facebook ads. This is SEO Quake, which is quite interesting because it adds a load of stuff, SEO Quake, all over Google. Let me show you. Gives you site stats and all this kind of stuff all over Google. Again, I very rarely use it. But you guys might want to check it out and turn it off. Um, what is this one? That's like a inbox thing. I don't even use that. I don't even use that. I get rid of that. Uh, this one is like a full page screen capture thing. So when you're on a, you've got a nice long page like that, you can capture the whole thing as, a, as an image. Kind of cool. That's keywords everywhere, of course. That's Tube Buddy, which I use for um, YouTube stuff. That's Grammarly, helped me write better, though it doesn't often suggest that I use semicolons. That's the Ahrefs SEO toolbar. Which I'm not quite sure that does. I'm not really. Oh, yeah, it adds this thing across the top. Which I guess shows me about the site, does it? Okay, that's not. Not really working. I don't know if it's because I'm not signed in properly. Won't worry about that right now. Um, Pinterest and something else. What is that? Tailwind. And that's Dashlane, which is my passwords. David says, Do I pay for vidIQ? No, I do pay for Tube Buddy, though. Helen says, which I wholeheartedly agree with, that if you're enjoying the stream or you're learning some new stuff, and please hit the thumbs up button. It does help me out. It does really help me out. I know that one of you have clicked the dislike button. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that. I know you're just trying to trigger me. I love the dislikes. I really do. So leave a like or a dislike. It's it's entirely up to you. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, did you see the video yesterday that I put up? Uh all around content. Quickly show you it. WP Eagle. By the way, do you guys ever watch the videos on WPEagle.com or do you just stay on YouTube all the time? It's an hour long, this video, but it does um, cover everything that I do when it comes to creating content. So coming up with ideas, using keyword research, briefing the writers, which are BKA content, as I mentioned, and then publishing it. And I actually basically add a complete article, which is this article. Let's have a quick look two best read books take you through exactly how I add it the graphics and laying it out and uh, finding videos and images and and all that kind of stuff do let me know if you've seen it Latix Nova says you could search what is that WordPress theme and it will tell you but it's kind of handy to have it in the browser thank you whisper hub I appreciate it if you watched it and liked it and left a comment. It does help me out. Anyway, Karim sent in this site, which is plasticalternatives.ca, which I'm pretty sure we've seen before, or we've seen another site that was in the same niche. Thank you, Helen. Remind me, have we seen this one before? I definitely know that we've seen a plastic-free site before. Pretty sure, unless my mind is playing tricks, which is... Quite often it does that. Tom says, don't all those extensions slow down the system. I've not noticed it. But then I am running, what am I running here? Three point two gigahertz Intel Xeon with thirty two gig, that's not very much. And a Radeon Pro. Which I think is, is good. I think it's like eight cores on the processor. Yeah, eight core processor. So no, it doesn't slow it down too much. But you know, maybe on a PC it would. 
But David, I hear you. Crying baby. I don't know if you guys remember that stream when my daughter Robin was very young and she just wouldn't settle and she ended up coming in on the stream and she was crying and it was a nightmare. I still have flashbacks of that sometimes. You remember that? I bet Helen remembers that. Anyway, let's look at plastic alternatives. What is that border? What is that little border that's popping up? You see that? When I hover? I don't like that. I also don't like this massive chunk of white space at the top. I'm not sure, is that coming from this logo that's maybe too big? Still can't detect the theme. <laughs> it looks like Astra. It could be Astra. I don't know. It's got a feel to it that's, I don't know. I don't know if it's this image is a bit weird. I don't know if you just, I don't know, want to have some, show some actual products or something, I don't know. It looks like Astra. This is based, yeah, yeah, it is Astra, isn't it? So you've, you've followed my swim signs. Um, thing. I don't know what's going on. There's obviously something going on there with your slider. Scott, that's it. Scott, someone has gone in Chinish. I don't know if they stole the idea from watching one of my streams. I hope not. I'm gonna have a look at your one instead. Scott, 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 yeah, yeah. So my mind wasn't playing tricks. This, this is what we like. Your site, I don't know, let's just look at the difference here. Which site looks like it's got more going on and knows what it's talking about? I don't know, it's sometimes it's just a look and feel. And yours is obviously content focused. This is a woo zone, which is fine. Nothing wrong with WooZone, though, you know, content is maybe the best way. I would drop this bestseller side by, in fact, I'd probably drop, I'd add filters or categories, yeah, yeah, that would be better. Maybe put these to three columns. Whisperhub says, I think it's that the photo looks really artificial, but the niche is supposed to be the opposite. It does, yeah, it's got that stock feel. Don't know if this logo needs a bit of work. It's a bit big. Damon, yes, Damon, I'll answer your question. In a second, give me one moment. I think in this niche, I don't even know if you need a woo zone. And if you do, if you are going to go for woo zone, you need to be more specific. You need to be more specific on your category. So, food wraps are no good. It needs to be plastic free food wraps. It needs to be plastic free plates. Plastic free toothbrushes because that is what people are searching for. Plastic free toothpaste, is there plastic in toothpaste? Man, we are doomed. Plastic everywhere. Can't spell toothbrushes, I didn't know it was one word. It obviously is. But it's this kind of stuff that people are looking for. So that's what you want to call your categories for WooZone. Bamboo toothbrushes. I don't know. Do your keyword research and um, I've got way too many tabs open as usual. Let me kill some of these. Do some research and name your um, your categories, your product categories with the word plastic free. Be specific because straws is just too vague and that's the kind of stuff people are gonna be searching for. And it's gonna be these category pages that you wanna come up, uh, that you want coming up on Google. You also wanna add a description to your categories, get some text up here. In terms of your articles, again, you probably want to do some keyword research. Watch my my content video that I put up yesterday. 
and then you know best plastic free there we go there's a whole load of article ideas right there that's the kind of stuff you want to be going for after toothpaste is bothering me a little bit uh, let's go for water bottles and and then of case you know look at the question none of these look particularly uh... Ugh. anyway you get the idea watch the video anyway let's go back Damon 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 says I know you're asking a lot of questions I'm that's fine that's why I'm here I have some financial issues preventing me from purchasing WooZone for my Amazon affiliate site is there an easy way to set up without it yeah set up a site without WooZone follow my best roof box tutorial which is just uh, you know this site you've seen it I'm always talking about it my site that actually has earned some money uh, although I have spent some money we've already been through set up a site like this all you need to worry about then is content and if you haven't got any money but you've got some time then you can create content you can write it yourself and this runs a free theme I do use one paid for extension uh, for Elemental, but that's just to do some tables. You don't need that. You can create a site like this for hardly any money. All you need is your hosting. Of course, I recommend SiteGround and would really appreciate if you used my link, which is wpeagle.com slash SiteGround. That's what you need, domain, site, uh, hosting. And there we go. David says it's fluoride toothpaste you want to worry about. Uh, it's fluoride toothpaste, yeah. Where I live here, they used to put fluoride in the water for your teeth to make your teeth better. It was actually in the water that you're drinking. Hold on, you don't use toothpaste anymore. Wow, what are you using? Damon says he's tried the free version. We don't, it doesn't really work, the free version. And you've gone into the dog niche. I say everyone goes into dog niche. I would I would not go in the dog niche. There's too many dog niche sites, including one of my own. Which, interestingly, has not been doing too bad. Let me just quickly... Um, I'm just going to quickly transition. We've got a couple more site reviews, too. But just quickly transition. John, so I just want to quickly get something up. Helen's got a dog site as well. Stephanie's got a dog site, although hers is very specific and is doing quite well. But yeah, if you're going to do dogs, you need to get very specific. Choose a certain breed, crate training, something specific like that, like we've just seen. I want to quickly give, give you a quick earnings update, although I am going to do a proper one. But I, I think, you know, you, I know you guys, that's what you're interested in. Because I was looking at some of my older sites, which I've you know neglected as usual. You know me. Never enough time in the day. Especially when I don't really get in the office till 10 in the morning and then go and do the school run at <laughs> 3 in the afternoon. Um, so, let's have a look at some of the old sites. Just have a look at the earnings. I think it's interesting because these are sites that I've not done anything on. A quick fade. Like Boot Boutique, which has been completely neglected. I don't even think it's working properly. I need to go and look at it. We got four bound earnings yesterday. So this is the thing with the WooZone sites. They do generate your money. But interestingly, yeah, what are they talking about? Um, my dog site, Bow wow Tech. It's done 13 pounds in the last month. And I've done nothing on it. And they are dog things. Most of them, like uh, dog collars and stuff. So, you know, dog sites, they can work. <laughs> um, what was some of the other sites? Like beer shirts. Beer shirts, not so much. Um, but in general, like all of my UK sites, like 20, nearly 25 pounds, which is like $30. I know it's not a lot, but none of these, none of these sites I've done any work on. 
Oh, in terms of um, my American ones, which are generally swim signs and best roof box, as I say, something is happening again We're up to $22 this month, last 30 days, and there's stuff happening here. Look at that, what's that? Six ordered items yesterday. Quite excited to see what they're gonna be. Maybe some of those big roof boxes. Oh, that was kind of interesting, but I'm gonna do some uh, a full earnings report. I'm kind of waiting a few more days because I want to see what these are that can make an exciting video. So the last site we're going to look at before we wrap up is uh, was sent in by. I need to make a note of these names. Uh, where where is it? Where is it? Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, 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 let me find it. Something about John. John, yeah, John, are you still on? I think you were here earlier, weren't you? Hello, John, say hello. You're still here? John sent me an email because we have looked at this site before. It's this one here. It looks really nice because it looks very similar to um, another site that I, I can't think of right now. Does it look familiar to you guys? Let me get rid of these tabs. It looks a little bit like this one. A little bit. There's a little bit too much space, I think, here. Wow, Scott got 37 ordered items yesterday. JCR says, um, oh, hello, El Malki, El Malki as well, by the way. JCR says, I love your content. Do you first have to generate free Amazon affiliate sales before you can use the A, whatever, AAWP plugin? Yeah, I think you do, although I'm not sure if that is the Amazon Ads API. WooZone and that use the Amazon product API. Is that the same thing? Hey, John. So John is here in the chat. Site looks good. Now, I think you need to add some excerpts as well, by the way. I think this is, this is too long. So you can add excerpts when you're adding posts. You don't want to push down too much. Anyway, let's stop looking at my site. So yeah, John said, it's been three months since we last looked at his site. And he's posting content, he's got 17 posts up, nearly 20. He's not seeing many traffic increases. I think he needs to get some backlinks, but don't know how to go about it without buying them. It's hard to go about it without buying them. I mean, have you done any of the Pinterest stuff that I, I've got a video on Pinterest. That is a way to build a few links. It doesn't look like you're doing the Pinterest, so that might be a way to get some links. Look at the um, the video. <laughs> Basically, he really wants to bring in a bit of cash just to prove his family of doubters wrong about niche websites. Now, the thing is, whenever you do your own thing, I'm gonna talk about that first. And for that, I'm just gonna quickly come back. Whenever you wanna do your own thing, whenever you say, I'm gonna set up an affiliate website, I'm gonna earn some money. Or you say like, I'm gonna set up a YouTube channel, make some videos. A lot of people are gonna say, that is a stupid thing to do. You need to get a job. You're never gonna make any success out of that. What are you doing, you loser? Or whatever, they might not be that harsh. 
And you've got to just kind of carry on and ignore that stuff. People are going to say that. And you, and actually, it is a great driver that you want to prove them wrong. And you will be able to prove them wrong. And the concept of niche websites obviously works because there's a lot of people that make a lot of money. I mean, check out Income School. Check out any of the guys that I've interviewed on my channel. You can see that they're making a success of it. So that concept is right. The problem you might have is that the niche you're in, and let's go back to your site, might be the problem and I'm not saying that your niche is the problem but it might be it's a nice specific niche I'm going to quickly go on to Google for this so how to mount a TV a 6,600 searches a month, so it's not a small niche. It's not a small niche. There is definitely people searching. And it's gonna be these kind of things here, which again, you can find them down here anyway. Like how to mount a TV and hide the wires. 480 people a month searching for that. And then these are the guys you need to beat. This looks like quite a big site, but hey. He's done a YouTube video. It's not actually a particularly long video, a uh, particularly long article. It's just a YouTube video and some words. And it maybe you need to go a little bit more specific. Maybe add like a brand in. How do you hang? Look at all these. I think you're going to be okay. I mean, there is a lot of videos and stuff. Maybe videos is what you need to do. I'm, have you got a TV and a wall that you can mess around with? Look at all these ideas here. I think you just need to um, just keep going. As David said, you probably need more posts before you can really tell whether you're working. You need more time as well. A lot of people, you just everyone's just too impatient. So I had an email earlier today, which I will be responding to. I don't know if I'll do it in a video or just do it privately, probably in a video. Again, questioning Best Roof Box and saying, wow, you put a lot of work into that, a lot of effort, and it's only earning you a few hundred dollars a month on a good month. You know, what is the point? It's still early days. The site is, is less than a year old. And you just gotta be patient. I think patience is one thing that we lack in 2019 in the world today. Don't have a lot of patience. We want everything now. We want it instantly. And all well, these things take time. It takes time to create content. It takes time to build a reputation for your site. John says he actually works in home tech. So you probably need to video some of my stuff. Yes, YouTube will be fantastic for this site. Definitely. Whenever you're installing something, you need to try and video it. Because there are lots of people. I don't think the niche is bad. I don't think it is a bad niche. I think it's a good niche. And especially if it's something that you do, I think you can create some fantastic content. And maybe you just need to think about videos and, and using YouTube to drive traffic to your site. Go from there. Yeah, anyway. Anthony says... Yeah, anyway, sorry, let's finish with John. John, I think you're going to be fine. The site looks great. It's a great theme. I don't know where you got this theme from, but it, it looks fantastic. And you're not doing anything wrong. That's a nice big ad you got there. John, I'll click it for you if you want. Let me click it. Don't tell Google. Whatever you do, do not tell Google. Um, yeah, I think you just need to do some videos. You need to do some more research and you know answer those questions. That there is a lot of them on Google about people want to mount a TV, they want to mount a soundbar, they want to mount their speakers, their Xboxes, whatever else it is. And there's a lot of people searching, especially about mounting without, you know, mounting and hiding the walls, hiding the walls, hiding the wires without messing up the wall. It's just patience and more work required. It is. Anyway, it's nearly time to go, isn't it? By the way, I'm, I didn't say that I missed you all last week. I did miss you all last week. I was in Spain. 
you know, relaxing. I'm always in Spain. I'm always relaxing. <laughs> That's why I don't create as many videos as I like. But yeah, I did miss you. I, I, I don't know what you all did on a Wednesday night. Probably watched The Apprentice, did you? Anyway. Transition. I'm going to answer a few more questions, then we'll wrap it up. Venture says, is it, uh, is it worth learning reactages? I don't know what that is. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Philip also thinks that the TV mounting niche is a good one. So I think you are onto a good niche, don't give up. Uh, I think that's again what kills a lot of niche sites and a lot of projects in general. People just give up too early there. You know, there's a tipping point on all these things. When once you get over that tipping point, exciting stuff starts to happen. But you just got to get to it first. Anthony, no, I didn't make a vlog. I haven't made any vlogs for ages. And I don't know why, because I've got a few ideas for videos. I just, and I know a lot of people like that channel, even though it's only got 1500 support or subscribers, whatever. It just, I don't know, that channel makes me feel like I've got imposter syndrome, or gives me imposter syndrome. I, I feel like I'm not qualified enough to talk about a lot of the stuff that I talk about, even though maybe I am. Anyway, getting a bit deep there. Um, Anyway, Anthony says, question, when you write a review based on a product, do you mention the branding company behind if you don't know who manufactures it? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean there. Yeah, just mention whatever name it is on the box, I guess. Um, and Anthony also says, what do you do if that company then goes belly up and disappears and it's just basically another reseller who makes it as their very own product? I guess you just rewrite your article. Just adjust your article to fit. I've never had that situation. Phil says you'll be in Spain over Christmas. I will also be in Spain over Christmas, Phil. Whereabouts will you be? Maybe we could get together for a Civetta. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down in the south, right near, um, in the Gibraltar area, Marbella area. <laughs> Leslie says that she has terrible imposter syndrome. Yeah, I get it quite a lot. I used to kind of talk at events and stuff, and that would be terrible for it. I just think, what am I doing? These people don't want to listen to me. <laughs> but then, maybe they do, because this is kind of like a video I need to do probably on the vlog channel. But um, I know a lot of you guys relate to me because I am not like some of the gurus that we see on YouTube and other places that have got Lamborghinis and pools and mansions and that ever. You know, I feel successful. I've got lots of time. I don't have a job as it were. I can do my own thing. I can do what I like with my days, which is what most people want. Most people don't, they think they maybe want a Lamborghini or a big mansion with a swimming pool, but really all they want is their life, their time. They don't want to you know, get up seven in the morning or whatever to go and work for someone else. That's all they want. They don't want to do that. They want to do their own thing. And I have actually kind of achieved that. I do have to work because I still have to make YouTube videos and whatever, but um, yeah. So maybe I am slightly qualified to talk about a few things, apart from I'm not qualified to talk about Lamborghinis. Phil, that's a long way away from where I am, Barcelona, Never mind. Thank you for your kind words, Anthony and Whisper Hub. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Anthony, again. Well, Phil, if you do come down in that area, in the Andalusia region of La Spana, drop me a message. Freedom, exactly, Philip. That's exactly what it's about, the freedom. How old was I when I started my business? Uh, well, it was... Let me just have a look. <laughs> Did that, I can't remember. Uh... 
well, I formed my company in 2003, which is um, last like 16 years ago. And it was my birthday just the other day. I turned 40, oh God. So I was 24, 24. Twenty-four, yeah, and that was when I created my Wi-Fi company and learned a lot. Then, and then I did my uh, advertising agency. I guess you'd call it. We were doing, you know, Google AdWords and stuff down in London. That was fun. And then, after all that went a bit wrong because I took investment from the wrong person. That's when I started doing this. I really appreciate all your kind words, by the way, in the chat. Didn't mean to kind of go on a bit of a, a downer there, or whatever. Thank you, Damon. I really appreciate that. Dino, send me an email, I will do my best to reply. Hey, Pastor Duke, good to see you. Thank you, Pastor. I know that your sites are doing well. I know you're a big fan of Doug as well. I need to catch up with Doug. I've not spoken to him for a while. He's been interviewing a lot of people, hasn't he? He's been really busy. Thank you all for the kind birthday wishes. Yeah, it was uh, the 26th of October, which was... The day I actually flew back from Spain, so I spent the birthday um, on an EasyJet flight. I don't know if you've ever been with EasyJet, you'll know that that is probably not the most fun place to spend a birthday. But hey, you've got to get home. Thank you, Arsene, awesome. good to see you. I saw you here earlier, have you only just come back? Or you've been lurking quietly throughout the stream? Good, good to hear that Pastor Duke, your site are uh, doing well. Thank you all for the very kind birthday wishes. Dino, you've been name dropping, you've met David Beckham and all sorts. Phil says, happy birthday Alex, NHS health check coming. I thought I was 50. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, I'll wait for that invitation, Phil. I look forward to it. Uh, R seven's been lurking. That's fine. Anyway, it's time to go. Um, I really appreciate um, all of you for joining me. Of course, this evening. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I just wanted to have a quick look at some uh, some numbers here. So we had a peak concurrent viewership tonight of 59, which is great. There's 56 you watching right now. 32 likes, which is fantastic. Couldn't ask for more. So that does mean that there's 24 of you that haven't liked it. Was it something I said? Or maybe you're just not logged into YouTube. It's fine. David says yearly flu jabs. What the, I'm not that old. Ugh. You're making me depressed now. <laughs> Finch says, did you get your first WP website clients online or asking locally? I got them uh, locally by going out and networking and stuff like that. <laughs> Anthony says, uh, Alex, serious question. It's not a serious question. Have you encountered anyone in real life that has recognized you? And if so, how would you feel? Yes, I have, I have, that's happened. It's happened twice. The first time I was in London, um, we'd stayed overnight actually, been out to do the tourist stuff. And yeah, I was just waiting across the road and someone said, hey, it's you. And I went, uh, hello, who are you? And they went, oh, I watch your channel and whatever. And we had a little chat as we were crossing the road and they created a site, which was kind of cool. It was very weird, I've got to say, very weird. And the next time, um, it was in a taxi, in a cab, here, in Bedford, where I live, and the taxi driver recognised me, which again, I thought that was weird. Though I'm not sure if that one's 100%, because I 
because my son mentioned something that I did YouTube, but then the kind of taxi driver played along with it, so I'm not sure if that one. Was, but he said he watched them, but I don't think he. Did. I don't know. Maybe he did. And he says, "Explain." I said the t-shirts were in the wash. I'm going to. Um, I did this. Does have an eagle on it? Hmm. Maybe I could do something with that. Do some shirts just with a little little eagle there. That might be cool, might it? <laughs> Pastor fifty six is not old, Pastor Duke. It's not the eagle, no. That's true, Anthony. Michelle's fifty four. You're all just spring chickens, really. Anyway, Stephanie's got to run. I'm going to run because it's getting late. And yeah, do join the Facebook group. Helen has just put a link in the chat. And yeah. Maybe they thought you were Bill Murray. Maybe, Phil. I mean, I've been accused of being Mark Zuckerberg. Um, some other guy off the films, I can't remember his name. Anyway, yeah, maybe they did think, oh, Bill Murray, I'm not sure if that's, um, yeah, a compliment or not. But anyway, Dana says maybe the tax driver was doing some affiliate marketing on the side. He did say he was, so maybe he was watcher. He was a viewer, maybe. But yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to get the Hoff video done tomorrow, all being well. If not, it will be up by Friday, all being well, where I'll give you some more details about the links that I made for the, even the $500 link, which I can see the thumbnail now. And yes, I will be using a picture of David Hasselhoff in the thumbnail, you can guarantee that. Uh, um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go. The button is over here. So let me just get my finger on it. And then we can coordinate this way, that way, this way, that way. I'm gonna count down, I'm gonna press the button. I'm glad you've enjoyed the jokes, Anthony. I do try and like, inject a little bit of humour. I will post something on Alex, uh, the other Alex channel, whatever it is. You know, I always link to it at the end of my videos, don't I? Go check it out. I'm going to put some videos on there. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for your questions. Thank you all for your site uh, to review. If I didn't do your site this week, then drop me an email. The email address is up there, and we'll try and do it next week. But yeah, until next time. Five, four. I'm gonna press the button when I get down to one, by the way. That's what this is all about, if you've not seen it before. Three, two, one. Oh, there's always a